let's calculate the weighted standard deviation. Why would we need the weighted standard deviation? Well, the data might require it. In this case, we have a variation on the, the modified pocket money data. In this case, imagine that instead of what we had before, we surveyed a bunch of students about how much money they had in their pocket on a daily basis for a month. And we found that 20% of the time, students had $2 in their pocket. 30% of the time, they had $8 in their pocket, and so on. With that data, what we need to do is um, get a weighted mean. And to understand the spread, then, we would do a measure of, a calculated measure of the weighted um, deviations from the mean, but for the reasons we talked about earlier when we talk about standard deviation, um, we have to actually get the average squared deviations from the mean. In other words, we have to get the variance. So with the variance, the square root of the variance is the standard deviation. All right, so now let's illustrate that. We begin by calculating the weighted mean. The weighted mean is equal to, remember, the weight times score plus the weight times score plus the weight times score. And here it is, weight times score plus weight times score plus weight times score, and so on. And the answer will be $9.10. Let's now get the deviations from the mean. Here we have the deviations from the mean, taking x and subtracting the, the mean, weighted mean, all the way down, squaring those components, and then weighing those, and then summing those. If you are to sum the weighted squared deviations from the mean, you get the variance, or the weighted variance, and that would be 26.48. And finally, the standard deviation, or the weighted standard deviation, would be the square root of that, or 5.15. The units were dollars, so this is dollars, just like the mean is dollars. And that's it. We would conclude that the average person, ha the average student has $9.10 in his pocket, give or take $5.15.